Hey guys, it's Walt K4OGO. Today I'm back on the beach here in Virginia Beach, Virginia, right by the Chesapeake Bay and the Atlantic Ocean. And today I've got a new antenna. It's the vertical in-fed half-wave antenna from M1 ECC antennas. They make great antennas. They are the maker of the uh, Slidewinder DX coil, if you're familiar with that. So I thought I'd give this a try. We're gonna do a vertical half-wave. Stick around. I purchased this in-fed halfway vertical for 20 meters from M1 ECC antennas in the UK. They are also the makers of the Slidewinder DX coil, something I just love. And after trying that, I had to try something else that they made, and I'm very happy. You can check out all of their antennas and equipment at m1ecc-antennas.co.uk. Okay, here's today's setup. Using the Zygu X5105 today, love this little radio, so we're going to be 5 watts QRP. That's an external speaker that I uh, have plugged into it. If there's one con I can say about this radio, it's the, it's the audio, and I, with an external speaker, it helps it greatly. That with the coax running over here to, there it is, there's the coupler for the uh, in-fed halfway vertical for 20 meters, as you see it'll take 400 watts got it in my sand spike and it is connected all the way up there to my 10 meter dx commander pole for my counterpoise today i'm going with my single bare copper wire ground strip right into the water the recommendation for this antenna is obviously radials basically uh counterpoise wires they recommend at least four so you get better by using six to 12. Well, obviously, I've got that advantage of the salt water here. So this is my counterpoint setup for today. So SWR is perfect to near perfect. So uh, no, no ATU needed today for this antenna. This is awesome. Thank you, Italy, Italy, three, radio, Tango, Charlie. Kilo for Oscar, Golf Oscar. Uh, kilo four, Oscar, Golf Oscar. You're five seven into Virginia Beach. I'm five watts portable QRP. Okay, kilo four, uh, Oscar, Golf Oscar, uh, five eight seven. Thank you, thank you so much for the QSO. Seventy three. Seventy three, thank you, Charles. India, India, three whiskey, Romeo, Tango, Charlie. Kilo four, Oscar, Golf Oscar, portable QRP. Roger, Roger, you're 58 into Virginia Beach, Virginia. I am 5 watts QRP. Alright, I'll pass thing off for a 5 watts. Hold her to the next text. You catch you later on the band, 73. Enjoy QRP. Thank you very much, 73. Thank you later, sir. 5 watts, David. Actually. I'm going to cut it a little short today. Um, look, the wind has gusted up and down a little bit, and it looks like a. Uh, Maybe some rain or a little bit of, uh, of uh, thunderstorms rolling in. In the distance, I could hear just a little bit of rumbling of uh, a thunder there. So um, I'm going to call it short. That antenna is amazing. I tell you what, uh, I know a lot of people hear uh, Sugar 5-1 David X-Ray in Slovenia a lot of it. He's a powerful station. Worked him quite a few times. But um, the report I got back from him uh, when I worked him about you know, saying how strong that 5 watts sounded, um, that's the antenna. I tell you what, what a great antenna. The cool thing about this antenna is with a, a half wave, you're getting a takeoff angle of 15 degrees. So, you know, it's great for DX, especially here on the beach. Um, I could hear, like, Scandinavia, Finland especially, I could hear them like five, eight, five, nine, strong signals coming in here. The problem is the pileups. My five watts trying to step over these guys that were running, you know, 500, 1,000, you know, 1,500 watts. It was just impossible. It was impossible. But, from, I've never been able to sit here on this beach and get them here, that part of, uh, of Europe, um, as strong as I can hear them with that antenna. Which lets me know, if I can hear them, I can work them. So, um, you know what, I think if this thing's rated for 400 watts. If you're looking at something to take and bring some power out here, even 100 watts, that thing right there would sizzle. I'm telling you, what a great, great...
great antenna that was. I really enjoyed it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video too. And uh, take a look at this antenna, M1 ECC. They make great stuff. They really do. And uh, I'm going to enjoy mine again. Maybe bring it out with a little bit more power. Maybe the 20 watt G90 would uh, give me just that little extra boost I'd need to uh, to break through some pileups because I, that's what I had a little trouble with. I heard a lot of people, but uh, pileups were a little tough today. But anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Walt K4 OGO 73, my friends.